Hello guys, and welcome to episode 38 of my Total War Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires campaign, playing as Isabella von Karstein, leading the Vampire Counts to world domination. Previously, we took out Morga, and that's going to open up Tabaro and Bilbali for us to colonize, hopefully before anyone else. Oh yeah, there's also a Nuja here now. Completely forgot about that. Uh, then we basically got to decide where we're going next with this army. I think it'd probably be best if we try and put out all the fires that we've started uh, somewhat before engaging new enemies such as potentially the High Elves or North One. So let's see what else we have to do and we'll just carry on with our turn. Uh, actually, before we move on, Kornrada does need to level up, so we'll quickly do that. Uh, we will just go for the character or leadership effect. Thank you very much. Over to Warborged. A uh, Warborged uh, can just take yes. Black Iron Mine, although I was going to bring her over here, wasn't I, actually? Yeah, let's continue doing that. We need to catch up to Queek. I'm not sure why it's not allowing me to follow him here. Wait, can you not go through this gap? Surely you can. There's no way I have to go around there, but I can't go around here. There's something blocking that that I can't see, maybe? Might be a unit here. I feel like there must be a unit there that we can't see, like an army. Okay, that's fine. Um, they are really getting deep into the mountains so we will go up into the mountains actually there is two armies here there's another army there we've got an army here there's probably another army behind Queek that we can't see so we've got five armies running around in these mountains and that is really not good for us because mountains are the hardest area for us to traverse technically I do have two armies up north so maybe Sending Lena up north is not necessary. However, I am kind of using him to recolonize these areas, so we're going to do that first. We have Olek, he's ready to take Black Pits. So let's go ahead and do that. Hopefully, we can auto resolve. Do I care about losing bats? Hmm. Maybe not. And the dead rose again anyway, so perfect. Alright, we can just jump in there. I'm kind of tempted to put a wall building in. We don't really have the extra cash though, so not ideal. One thing I would like to do is potentially put some mortis engines in here. <laughs> it's a classic, but it works. And I feel like at this point in the game exploiting mortis engines is justified just because we don't really have anything better that we can get you know, we, we've got, there's nothing else that's like of a similar quality that we can grab I really wish you know things like Vargolfs and Terrorgeist were as good but they're really not <laughs> they're really not uh, right Morath Morphin uh, I would like to go after this army but he's a bit out of the way so I might just take the opportunity to take Castle von Rauken. And then what we'll do is move on to Erengrad following that. Uh, we are going to get the Plague. But that gives us Weeping Eyes and that has no effect on us whatsoever. As it reduces ranged stats. Alright, time to chase down... The Moon Howlers up here. Let's put Volker into March and head that way. Laser von Diesel. He is ready and waiting with Heinrich Kemmler to attack Waterfall Palace. But that is exactly what we're going to do. We'll go and siege it. We'll encircle. With this army, this might actually be an order resolve because the value of this army is actually pretty high. It's just terrible at settlement battles. 
Yeah, look at that. Decisive victory. Oh, boy. That is a sight to behold. Right, we will want to probably sack these. And then occupy them. That way, we can benefit. Uh, from the money because we currently are pretty short on money so I'm probably gonna sack and take every single one of these it's actually gonna be kind of difficult to attack one of these settlements whilst they have an army inside so with any luck we'll be able to ambush but we'll see I'm gonna go into channeling starts here just so that we can lower the amount of attrition we're going to take. Grave times. Should be fine. Right, let's level him up with Beguile. And Kemla has also leveled up. Uh, what is he using? I mean, currently he's using... Zombie skeleton script calls graveguard, that's fine, but I think carriages of death makes sense for the long run. So we're actually gonna put the points there instead. Alright, time for Milland to keep chasing down any Empire forces. We've taken out Kemperbad Flinsberg. So now we just carry on towards Eilhart, although we do have Gark here. Maybe we have Gark take Eilhart. He's technically in range. Oh yeah, we also want to kill off... Yeah, we should probably take out Durthu, to be honest. We'll keep chasing him. That's absolutely fine. Good old Friedrich Buffback. He is here to go and take the barrow for us. Ready. That way, Wilmar doesn't have to go back. Right, Roderick can take Winterpire. Jolly good. Thank you very much. They will serve. Absolutely not high that bad boy. And we got a Trickster's Helm. Very nice. Ready. Very nice indeed. That's actually a big upgrade for him. Um, now somebody mentioned I could fuse my uh, bad magic items. That's not a terrible idea. Let's just put the Talisman of Protection in here. Because I do have a lot of terrible items. I didn't really notice that I had so many. I'm going to give him Tormentor Sword because it's actually good. Uh, like All these Dragon Bane gems, they can definitely be fused. Hopefully we get something better from them. Because I am never going to use them. The other thing, though, is that I do have a lot of units that could probably use these. And I just haven't handed out stuff to. Uh, Trickster's Shard is kind of terrible. Let's just do a fuse on these two. Oh, that is a huge item. Okay, we'll, we'll give him one of those. That is massive, actually. Black Periapt is, like, really good for getting wins back. We'd give it to anyone who's casting a lot. Like, I feel like Warboard could use one. The Book of Asher is already good, though. Uh, Wilmar. 
We'll give it to him. Alright, let's level up Roderick. Since he took this element. And I guess we get the Undeath Resurgent. That's absolutely fine. Carlotta can max out Pit of Shades. Uh, Fuffback can just take Restless Dead. And then we have Milland, who's going to yeah head over, I think, towards Heart. Or we could head him down. I mean, at the moment, we have an army here. Felix Gaines. He's going to be able to head through to Marienburg. So I think we just do that with him. Like I'm non-aggression pact with Bretonia, so that's fine. Maybe that army can just come south then. Yeah, we'll free up this army and send it down here. I swear every episode I'm just like changing my mind on this. <laughs> oh well. Hopefully every time it's just a better solution than the last. So Warmond will have just go around and check out the ruins for us further up here so that we can deal with those. And technically I don't need to keep assassinating for blood kisses anymore. Because our bloodlines are complete. So the only reason to do this really is just to stop them from doing actions on us. Which is okay because it potentially speeds up the end turn a little bit. I'm going to go assault this guy's units. Very good. Although he's going to get attrition in our lands regardless by the looks of things. Okay, uh, Genevieve, Who wishes the red kiss? she just the one that we had in the army with us? I guess she is. I we'll make sure to do that. And we have Edette, who is still carrying on up here. Has crazy line of sight. As we have carrion, which increases campaign line of sight. Interesting. Uh, we'll fix that up for now. I'm going to want to take out that rogue army. That'll be annoying otherwise. We'll do half harvest corpses in Griffinwood. And we won't upgrade Mimidans. How are we doing actually on diplomacy? Especially with Musalon. Also the followers of Nagash we want to be friends with. If we could push for like a defensive alliance eventually, that'd be great. I might have to give them a gift to get that. Uh, where is Musalon on this list? There he is. We'll do quick deal. Probably should have done this first. There we go. We can technically take The agreement here, which is actually pretty big. I think we just do it. Why do you come? Confederate, Mr. Musalon. Thank you very much. So we don't have our outpost anymore. Everything dies. But we now have the Red Duke. And he's not very high level, which is actually really nice. And his skills are actually okay. 
He's got Undying Horde, Restless Dead. I mean, it looks perfect, honestly. Let's give him some armor. Uh, I'll give him a weapon. The Staff of Damnation is actually pretty good, and we can give him a Talisman of Endurance. Enchanted items. Let's just fuse these and see what happens. A Helm of Discord. That's actually really good as well. I think we'll give him that instead. All these earthing rods we can try and level up a bit. Roll of power, not too useful. Ooh, Scabsgrath. That's a pretty nice weapon. Mainly because of the ability. I think we're gonna just get rid of those as well. And that gave us a rod of flaming death, which isn't really very useful for us. I might actually upgrade the ogre blades, and that's gonna give us a talisman of preservation. Oh boy. That is what I'm talking about. Let's fuse these two. Gonna give a book of Assure. Not as good for him, but still a decent one to have. And we're gonna leave it there. Right, one thing that I do want to do with the Red Duke is probably disband. I could just disband his armies for now, honestly. Bring me flesh to craft. Definitely disband this army. And I'm thinking we disband this army. I'm not sure why that jumped up so much. How many new armies did we get from him? Was it maybe agents that we got? I think it may have been agents. So we'll get rid of that agent. I don't want that agent either. This is all the management you have to do when you <laughs> confederate. Yeah, I think otherwise it's just because we introduced another army. And I can't really afford minus 10,000 a turn. That seems ridiculous. Um, What's the plan? Grabbing this is kind of pointless because we wouldn't be able to play the battle anyway with an army of zombies. I think for now we just get rid of him. We just disband his army. No. Ah, well that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Immortal and legendary lords cannot be disbanded. Well, can we switch him out and then disband him? Oh, wabam. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Alright, that brings us down to 5,400 a turn. We also have Chilfroy here. I believe is another army that we got given. I think we might just disband this as well. Although the quality of this army is high. Well, relatively high. Getting rid of it and sorting out my income is definitely a better bet. And this place, Musalon, doesn't even have a gibbet. So that's an extra bunch of money. But we get the Fortress of Melavech. So this gives extra hero cap capacity for White Kings, recruit rank for White Kings. The nice minus 5% upkeep though, for Grave Guard and Black Knights, so that's nice. Give me some of that. Yeah, we'll recruit the Red Duke, a really, really nice army at some point, once we have a bit more income. And then he can go do his thing. Uh, elsewhere here, like in these buildings, I think everything else is fine. Very good. So that is all of that done. Let's go ahead and harvest corpses from the Wood Elves. 
<laughs> Absolute sacrilege. We'll definitely do the same here. And yeah, that's actually sorted us out nicely. Let's move on to the next turn. So Muslon down, now we'll probably try and confederate Gorst, but of course we are going to have to wait the turns until the confederation penalty is gone. Meanwhile, I'll just want to resolve all these battles. <laughs> the Skaven's going crazy through my lands. The thing is, they aren't really occupying anything, so it's not too bad. That is perfect. Give me that interception. Yes, please. And would you look at that. Okay, here comes Carcassonne. I guess it's decent timing. Well, not so much because I disbanded all the armies in the area, but uh, we will have Ga Felix Gaines who can come back and deal a bunch of damage here. We should be fine. That's a lot of messages to click through. <laughs> wow, uh, uh, definitely a lot. <laughs> So, the play, I think, is to hit Isle Hut first to stop them building the army. Oh, you're kidding me. We'll have to play it out. If the army were led by Car Franz, then me having to fight this would make more sense, but. In this case, it's just a matter of walking it in. It's just because all of this chaff is low quality. I need to get some, like, Grave Guard or something in here. Because this is a battle that we really shouldn't have to play. We shall blob them, as is our duty. The doggo is getting in there nice and quick. Gotta love it. Let's just drop down invocation. And we'll probably do a wind of death like this. We'll hit the crossbows there, hopefully. It can sort of go off to one side, but most of the time it'll be straight. Oh, I actually bounced off the fortification. I didn't know it could do that. Thought it just went through. Uh, that's not good. Leave my boy alone. Everywhere is death. I'm a little bit off the magic. One more. I think it's eleven you need. I oh, know it's ten. Probably because he has the uh bonuses from being a necromancer. Try and get my Morsis engine over here. At the moment it's not really doing much. There we go. Let the pain commence. I'm going to have that Mortis Engine actually directly attack the general. Because it should actually do a decent amount of damage. 
I mean, even just staying in combat is going to melt him over time, but I think any direct attacks that it makes should be pretty good. It's going to chunk over time. I'm not really sure what my Necromancer is doing. Also, why did my winds just deplete so much? That's crazy. They really are focusing down my Necromancer. Uh, let's go ahead and let him die, apparently. So what I should have done is drop zombies on the range units. That's okay. We'll let the more send in here. Ride through them. It's not a massive deal if the necromancer dies. Hopefully we just get dead rise again. If he is dead, let me just replace him with someone else. I don't think he was very high level. And that was a very stupid death. time today. There we go. Let's get rid of the last remaining unbreakable units. The Tattersoles. Job done. Pigeon pluck a pendant. Well, that about sums it up. <laughs> the necromancer didn't die. Uh, let's just occupy that one. And that will give us a lich yard. I'm going to upgrade Grunberg just because we can put a gibbet in there as well. I might also upgrade Altdorfs. That is fine. All right. Felix gains. You've really got to level up I think make you a bit stronger and we'll just upgrade wind of death a little bit there okay over to Isabella Isabella is going to be taking out the howling citadel I can I tell you what it's impressive how quickly they get these regiments of renown back online this one we definitely had to play out. This one completely makes sense. There aren't any walls, which is good. But we don't need any of these. Just liabilities. Let's have Vlad just run in. Start melee with all these forces. And then we can have our vampires join him. Honestly, like Vlad could maybe just make them go around him on his own. Let's just do an invocation on these. We also have these abilities we can use to top them up a bit. Are they really going to like try and chase these? I'm going to go put them in the corner of the map over here. I can't really do anything about the flying units. Well, if they are going to come for us, we will have to deal with them. Totally fine. 
Oh, that's Dunpei. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dunpei pillar shades on this. I think I'll do an upgraded one because there's a lot of large units. I did not mean to pause it. probably kill this death sorcerer so he doesn't mess us about with spirit leeches so that magic did plenty of damage perfect all right let's kill the marauder horseman here Good. <laughs> they just got absolutely devoured by the swarm. Okay. Let's get our flyers to kill the Chaos Warhounds for us. I can probably kill the chariots, to be honest. But... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we just have these go join us over here. And uh, meanwhile, I just have these go kill the towers. Uh, that's the tower we'll get rid of. Oh, she's the only one down there in the fight. <laughs> the rest of them took off. Uh, actually, this fella's got to go. He almost thought he got away with it. Doesn't really matter if he runs away. It's a sentiment battle. It might make it take a little bit longer, but it's all good. To make sure we kill off the towers. Perfect. I might even get the Vargolf involved in the melee here. It would actually be way better for me to just not have an army. With all of these heroes, it'll make things so much easier. I'm gonna chase down this exalted hero just because damage speed things up. It's an easy way for us to mess with the balance of power. I will let Vlad heal up his pet. funny. Are they really going deep for the Vargolf again? Like, come on. You know what? Screw it. We're just gonna retreat them. I'll have to just get over it. Only trouble with retreating is it does make things take longer. The thing is, it's not even really worth putting down pits of pit of shades here and stuff. the loops on these towers. Vlad actually got through quite a lot of his healing cap there. That was crazy. Good. Right, let's uh, just 
loot and occupy that. Thank you very much. Chuck that in there. Might chuck in a wall building. Burning monolith, we can maybe do the same. I'm not going to put a uh, wall building in there just because it's right next to the enemy. Next step, we'll be taking crystal spires. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to reach it next turn, but that's okay. Okie dokie. Let's grab Frederick while we're down here and just do the Tabaro colonize. And then we can boot him. I'm going to recruit the Lord here. Actually, I'm not going to record recruit one of them. Do I have one that can... We'll get this guy. We'll have him run down to Nudra. He's heading up to build Bali. Take that. And then we'll just head over across to Brion. Okay. What do we do with Gark? I don't feel Gark's like that useful in this situation. Because these armies might be a bit much for him. If he dies, it doesn't matter though, because we lose him in what, five turns? Maybe we just YOLO him for the sake of it. Time to die. Yes. She's actually getting pretty close to Pit of Shades. I might just put her in an army when she gets that. Because we don't need to keep doing these assassinations, as I mentioned before. Uh, that is... An army that will not fight me. Like, if I chase that down, there's no way. The best thing for me to do here, I think, is just keep getting closer and closer to the Skaven armies so that when they use underways they get they get intercepted that's the best thing to do Oryx one more turn again we could go take Laurelon Forest I think what we'll do is we'll come back down here and take Kalaberg seems fine because we're going to have Gaines go back after he takes Marienburg. And we have Morath Morphin. He is going to attack Erengrad. Erengrad does have walls, which might work in our favour. Especially with the type of army that we have. He does have a mammoth. If he has too many mammoths, that could be a problem. But it looks like we'll be okay. Let's jump in, play this out, wipe out a bunch of the Norskins. We might also have to attack that one on the water afterwards. Okay. Let's see. We'll probably just go through the left gate here. Doesn't really make much of a difference whether we go through the far left or the far right. We'll set them in this. Be cool if it actually had a port though. Because it doesn't seem to. Unless there's something over here, it's like some sort of bridge. No. Ah. Oh. I don't know why, but I just got like real vibes of like what it would be like to have a map like this and it'd be like a zone in an MMO. Like look at that, like how, how much there would be to explore on this mountain or in the mountain with the dwarves and stuff like, oh, okay, anyway, um, <laughs> let's, uh, let's focus on getting this done ASAP. Just going to go bash down the gate. I 
I might just put these to one side actually. Let's get in there. Most engines definitely got quite a hurt there, but it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Bit of a weak unit really to go for but it will take a lot of damage from that so that's why I'm going for it there <laughs> there's a lot of dudes getting pushed off there huge there's another one yeah, I just want him to get off the wall preferably or oh, maybe we could fight the frost worm in the sky that would be really cool Go get that frost worm. The cold voider. I wonder if we have the attack stats to engage it. Right. They're still capping the towers, so we're taking a bit of damage. Let's just get in with the grave guard. We are very much losing that engagement. <laughs> Mainly because of the range units. Would drop breath attacks on the hunters of javelins because they are pretty strong. But there should be a good chance for me to drop a decent one here soon. Oh no. Is that gonna do a breath attack right in the middle of my units? Oh that was lucky. That was lucky. Imagine if it had hit right here. That would have been huge. Honestly, if it wants to go for my ogres, it's fine. We just have the ogres go around the sides. The ogres are actually relatively well equipped to deal with a dragon because they are large themselves. The only trouble is I can't use the invocation on them. Also, why is this small engine taking so much damage? Gonna have to be careful about that. Looks like ranged attacks. I'm trying to bring these ogre balls around the outside here. So that we can surround this. really trying to get my Varg off into a better position here. Let's just have him come out for now. One of these javelins. Just as well I don't have my ogres in here because they would not be having a fun time. Is there maybe a chance for a wind of death that would do some decent damage? Uh, not really. I mean, we could try. 
think if anything we just have to get close enough to put the rays dead on them. And probably get away with it. With these, just by putting the zombies behind this line and just running and engaging the Morada hunters there. Let's see if we can get my necromancer forwards. Some of my units have taken a bit too much damage for my liking, like the Vargolfs here. Both been chewed on quite a bit by these ranged forces. I'm just going to keep getting more zombies. Do these get the bonuses? Doesn't look like they do. And the bon what I mean by that is the bonuses from like our research and such. Time has come. All before us will perish. Yes, awake minions. We'll try and lock down the Marauder Horseman there. I might be able to make it so that he takes off. And then we can go and have him dive into the Marauder Hunters of Javelins just to stop them firing. Seems like any effort I'm making so far. With these zombies hasn't really been very fruitful. He's having fun. Alright. Uh, where do we want to go with another raise dead? Like, I could just keep putting them on top of these guys. Key is just to keep them engaged. There's quite a lot of uh, units to get through right now. And one of my Morse engines being already low is a little bit risky. Serve my will. Mortis engine. They'll die and rise. We've got the majority of our Graveguard in here now. Could also think about starting to bring in the Ogre Balls. Should take off. It's a good way to get them out of combat, by the way. Just like right clicking on the walls makes them take off. Nothing really I can heal. Necromancer. Get rid of those Marauder Hunters. Begins. Stay on. 
gonna try! Gosh out, boys! This way! Vampire Lord! I do still have a breath attack, and this looks like a pretty good unit to breath attack right now. We've got quite a lot more to get through. Right, the other thing I'm going to go do with him is destroy some towers, I think. Just speed things up a bit. Really need to make sure the Mortis engines are in combat. That tower's gone. Let's go take the next. Ignore the hero for now. I can always bash him a little bit later if I have to. He's already really low though. Uh, can we get on top of this unit? Also, I don't want to lose my the high level Morse engine. That would be really bad. We'll bring that out. I'm going to bring my Black Knights in here. And we'll dump a uh, Breath Attack here help things along a little bit and I'm gonna have my lord go and deal with Kaj. I'm gonna lose a grave guard. It's funny how without the support of the Morse engine how weak things are. Yeah I do not want to lose that unnecessarily. Is he on a chariot? That's not a good place to be. Necromancer. Beautiful decay. To war. Leg it. My ogre balls. They took a B sync, that's for sure. Mortis engine. The living will join us. Everywhere is death. Like, I might even take these out of the settlement as well. Like, only really one unit there, anyway. Of course, Marauder Spearmen are holding up my entire army of Graveguard. We'll put some towards the side so we get flanking bonus. And yeah, all of these need to just head up with us. That's totally fine. Oh, that's army losses. Okay, good. And the battle there for the Pyrrhic victory. Very nice. Right, occupy that. Thank you very much. 
and Erengrad's back in our favor. And this time I am going to upgrade it. Should get fully replenished from that. We might just get attacked on the end of the turn. So we've got legions of dead. I guess we get dread knights as well. This be Makes sense for the mortis engines. An arcane conduit. Okay, so this is actually Throg on the water here. So yeah, I reckon he'll probably attack us, maybe with the other army nearby. They have attrition, so they're not going to be too strong. On defense, things should be easier. Should be. And unfortunately, guys, it's been my time. So I'm going to leave it here. In the next episode, we'll continue to clean up the lands. Uh, we're actually doing really well, filling up all the blanks and consolidating our, our areas before expanding further. Yeah, it's going well. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.